Philip Glass's 11th Symphony was a commission by the Bruckner Orchestra Linz and Upper Austria, the state in which the Bruckner Orchestra is the state orchestra. When I asked Philip to write the piece, in the back of my head was the thought that a commission best works when you ask a composer to write a piece that he's always wanted to write anyhow. Mozart wrote to his father that he had three string quartets running around in his head and he was hoping someone would commission him so he could write them down. That in a way is what we did with Philip. He wanted to write this piece. It was a work that was then intended to be premiered and finished in time for his 80th birthday and we were able to perform it in Carnegie Hall on that occasion. He came to Linz in January for the first rehearsals. It was around the 10th of January, I remember. We rehearsed the piece, played it for him, uh, and then he said to me, I have to do a new ending. I'm not happy with it at all. And he basically threw out the third movement, um, started over, brought me some new pages, and then said, um, what I've wanted to do with this rhythm is play the way I've always done these kind of rhythms with the Philip Glass Ensemble. We didn't write the music down, we just played it. And I could see that uh, the notation was an issue that he hadn't quite resolved, so I was able to show him how I would notate it. He took it on, rewrote it. I remember a late night session in our house where I was playing the rhythms he wanted on the piano and asking him, is this what you want, is this what you mean? And he stayed up half the night rewriting it, and in the morning I came out and found the pages finished. It's kind of a romantic story. It makes it even better because it's true. The other thing I said to Philip on the occasion of this piece was, Philip, this time no wimpy endings. That, of course, was a joke, but what I meant is he's had several works which have been extremely atmospheric at the end, very moving, very quiet, and I thought, this time I wanted to pull the audience out of their seats. And boy, did he succeed on that level with his 11th symphony. <laughs>